or is the one that tends to foul out. It's got the lower compression. This is the test, just putting the compression tester in, running it. Measured the compression test real quick on an Iron Duke with about 300,000 miles. It's an 82. It's in a Camaro. The rear spark plug here has been fouling out. And so I went ahead and measured a compression test here. Got all the plugs pulled out, went through and had a battery charger hooked up, so it's got a good amount of poop to turn the engine over. These numbers, the number of PSI, this is the front cylinder, this is the rear cylinder. And then I went through and added oil to each one so that uh, when it's cranked over, squirt oil down in there, put the gauge back in there, run it over. If this has got a big increase, it means you've got bad rings. So these went up just a little bit. Uh, same thing over here. So back here, I either have a, a leaky valve or it could be the gasket. So I'm going to got a... Uh, tool set on order to go through and uh, measure the leak down. So you pressurize the one cylinder and then you listen to see if you got air coming out of the intake of the exhaust. Put it top dead center. But that's the purpose of this video. This car's got a lot of miles. If I go back to an old uh, engineering book here, I had here at UCLA, I had uh, 40,000 miles back in April 84 and here at November was 65 and there was a couple of years in there in California I put between 50 to 75 I think I put 77,000 on it one year out there but it had about 250 back around 1993 and then it didn't really get used that much when I moved back east here so I went ahead and ran this several different times just to make sure and again, when you squirt oil in there, what it does is if you do have a bad uh, set of rings or something, it'll temporarily seize it up and the number will get higher. But since it didn't go up, that means it could be just you got a bad gasket in the head. could be there's a, a valve that's got a not seating. We're going to run the cylinder test for pressure again using the Sears compression tester. I'm going to hit the button to reset it to zero. That's the number four cylinder, and I'm going to crank it over, show you how the uh, pressure is a little bit lower than the rest of them. That cylinder tends to foul, so let me just crank it up. See it went to, it's been going to about 142 to 145. That's about 145 right there. What I did is I went through and pulled all the plugs. I've got a, a battery charger on here to keep the voltage up. That's what the hum is in the background. But this is 160 psi in the first cylinder. Uh, without adding oil. And then I squirted oil. I've got some 0W40 Mobile One in a little spout here. Put that down in the cylinder. And this is after adding oil. If this goes up radically, it means your rings are shot. If it doesn't go that much and it's low, you probably got a leak in the uh, like burnt valve or something. But here's the number two cylinder, 158. It's 160. Number three, 155, 156. These are all pretty consistent. Number four is lower, which actually is a good sign in the sense that uh, at least I kind of found why this guy tends to fall out quicker. But I've got some hotter plugs on order I put in the back just to get me by. But I ran this one three times, 145, 140, 135. Now that's just hitting the gauge up here, resetting it, put the pressure out. I like the Sears one because I had one in high school that uh, was an old one from J.C. Whitney and it got stuck 
in the plug and I had a devil to get it out of there. It got stuck in the head down in a crevice on a 318 Chrysler Plymouth. Many ways here, the number four cylinder is lower than the rest, but when I added oil two different times, it didn't really change that much. So it means that it's not like the uh, cylinder uh, piston rings are worn. If they're worn, this will temporarily go up a bunch. So it's either got a valve that's got not seating as well. It could be the head is not. Uh, is loosened up after 300,000 miles. This is an 82 Camaro. It sat up for almost two decades. So, started this up last fall. There's the plugs. When I was driving this a lot, I just used to use dumb AC spark plugs and then I put platinum ones and in I think the earlier mid 90s some high-end Bosch ones never had a problem but then uh, put some Densos in here they're platinum and then these are iridium plugs NKG so the first three here uh, are all okay and then this one here is only been on there for about 10 or 15 minutes and it's got uh, started to foul So the radium plug really didn't uh, magically fix anything. Let me see if I can zoom in and show you what the following looks like. So that was a brand new plug I put in here, and this one's been in here for many months. It looks all just about brand new. As soon as it starts to foul, uh, misfire every now and then, you get to where you got unburnt fuel going through the uh, exhaust manifold that probably screws up the air to fuel ratio because it's uh, oxygen sensor may be sensing that and then it combusts back in the converter and muffler area, so you get kind of a bum, 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 popping noise. This is a Sears compression tester I got used off of eBay 92171. It's got the, of course, the hose. This has got a quick disconnect. Goes onto here. This is to let the pressure out to run another run. This is a gauge. This has got a fitting for 14 millimeter plugs and also 18 millimeter. You just screw that in. I usually just put a little bit of oil around there. It just has to be kind of snug. This is a long reach adapter here. 14 millimeter. Never had really had to use one of those. Made in USA. There's several different versions of these things. But I've always had good luck with these. These are probably 20, 30 years old. I had an older one here. It went underwater in Katrina use these for eight ages. So I ended up getting the same one. This gauge actually still works, it's just a quick disconnect and all this is all jazzed up due to it's still got salt water in it. I undid this and the gauge will actually read correctly. It's just this fitting is all boogered up. But this clicks into here. A lot of times I'll unscrew this, undo this and put it in so it's easier. Now when it's in the case here it tends to get a set so I tend to keep keep it out of this plastic gizmo and just try to keep it to straighten out. And there is the test I just ran number four. Actually this one goes to here. This is number one, two, three, and four. Four is the one that tends to foul out. It's got the lower compression this is the test, just putting the compression tester in, running it. This is adding oil into the cylinder. And I used an old 3-in-1 container here with a spout, but this actually got 0W40 
uh, mobile one in it and I squirt it in there and then if this goes up a lot it, it's the rings so these three are consistent the fourth is lower you may want to tell me what you think uh, this could be a cracked a little defect the valve's not sitting or it could be that the cylinder head is not uh, is loose in the back because these all kind of drop going toward the back There's the gauge, measures in kilopascals. This is probably from the 70s or 80s. There's the old one. Originally had uh, AC plugs when I bought the car. Just Delcos and I put premium ones in. Um, platinum in the early 90s, Bosch. Then when I revisited the car last year, working on it, I put these uh, started up on the old Bosch or the Platinums and I put these Denso uh, Platinums in there and I had the ones toward the these this one tended to fall out so I got some NKG Iridiums and these all run fine here this is the one that's still falling out with the brand new Iridium that's in there and I just put that in actually last weekend and it was falling out after about just 15 minutes. And that's with the lower compre lower numbers. This is PSI. Those are still fairly high numbers. I haven't checked. Maybe the car's got a vacuum leak too toward the back. That's another thing that could be goofing this up. I'm going to get a rig up a smoke deal or buy one to check to see if I've got a vacuum leak because that can drive me nuts too.